This is the video review of the Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Dinobot Scorn. Here is the back of the box. So here we have Scorn in his Dinobot mode. Now before we take a closer look, let's do some quick size comparisons. Here he is with Deluxe Class Crosshairs. Another great figure from the wave, but not the best. Here he is with his fellow Dinobot Slug. And here he is with Grimlock, the Vo specifically the Voyager class Grimlock. Now they're actually about the same size, so I'm not complaining too much. So taking a closer look, you can obviously see he's a very nice red Spinosaurus. That's actually, I think he's about 9 inches long from head to tail. And that's very nice for a deluxe class figure. Alright, so you can see, starting it with the head. Some very nice detailing going on here. Some grays, reds. Obviously, you got red. And some other shades of gray. Some very nice detailing going down the neck. Opening and closing jaw, which is one of my favorite parts. Though, if you open it too far, it starts to look weird. He also has this weird throat piece. I have no idea why they can't just leave it on the arm, but you can't have everything. So you can obviously see he's got red down the back. He's only got one spine, even though in the movie he has three, but I'm not, I don't really care how many he has. At least he's got one. Going down the tail, some very nice detailing. It's actually soft plastic. And down there you can see his weapon. And he's got some nice detailing going down the legs. And on the arms. Flipping to the other side, you can obviously see... Very nice silver Autobot symbol, as well as some detailing going on here. Which, if you can't tell, it's his robot mode chest plate. So, alright. All in all, very nice mode. Probably, probably my favorite out of the two. But let's let's show some love for the robot mode. Here he is with Voyager class Grimlock. So here is Scorn in his robot mode. As you can see. He takes that knight aspect very seriously. Just with the helmet, you can obviously see that knight look. Getting it into focus to get a better look. Give it a second. And there we go. You can see, very nice. Also, he has a lance for an arm. And what's supposed to be a shield, I sort of fiddled around with. Gave him a dinosaur hand. You can also hold his extra sword weapon in that as well. So we'll just fix that. Give him a regular hand, just like that. And you can give him a shield arm simply by lifting up the jaw, just like that. Though it leaves a huge hollow space in the arm, so I'd rather keep it closed. We can still put the sword in the hand, like so. So, looking all over him, you see he looks very much like a robot made of blades, with all the spikes all over his design. Not only is he meant to look like a knight, he looks like a knight made of knives and dinosaur parts. Well, that's what I think, at least. So, obviously, he's got the helmet, the lance arm, the overall design, very knight-esque, and very, very cool. So, going over articulation, moving his weapon to get that out of the way. He has a ball joint at the head, but it's very limited due to a little bit of ex excess on the back of the head. Now, that's actually a problem on all of them, but it allows you to do that for whatever reason, whoever wants to do that. Uh, he also has a swivel at the shoulder, hinges below that, but going to this arm is where it starts to trail off with a swivel, followed by another hinge, and that's really all you get for that arm. But for this arm, you get a, a swivel, another hinge, as well as another hinge for the wrist. He actually has waist articulation, which is very nice, and ball joints at the hips. He has a swivel below that, and a double hinge below that. He also has a little bit of pivot at the foot. That's really all you get. So, what do I think of this figure? I think it's great. It's a very nice figure, and I do recommend it a lot. So, is it, is it worth your money? Yes, it is. The problem for me is, which mode should I display it in? Because it's really the perfect figure 
from this line so far. Though I do like all of the Dinobots the same, this one is definitely a must-have. So this is Beast Wars Death Charge, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, or if you're really enthusiastic, subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you guys later for more reviews.